Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we will be discussing about the annotations, REST controller advice and exception handler annotation. This is the 10th video that is ongoing for the Spring Boot interview series. So if you are a beginner or you are preparing for the interviews, then this playlist will be very much beneficial for you. If you have not started watching this playlist, I will give you the link in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure that after watching this video, you are going through all the annotations that have been discussed till now. Okay. And guys, more videos of Spring Boot regarding the projects also and regarding more and more interview questions will be uploaded on this particular channel. So make sure that you get the notification on time. For that, you will have to hit that subscribe button. By hitting that subscribe button, two things happen. First thing, you get you get the notification. Second thing, I get motivated. So it's a win-win for all. So make sure that before moving forward in this video, you are hitting the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. I hope you have done it. So now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, the REST controller advice annotation. This annotation is used for global exception handling in RESTful web services. So we all are aware that we use for exception handling, we use try catch block, but that is like, that is not the global exception handling. If we want that all the exceptions should be controlled by a single class, then we talk about the global exception handling. And there we are talking about this annotation that is REST controller advice annotation. So it is a class where exception handling is centralized. That is all the exceptions that are thrown from anywhere will be caught in this particular controller advice class only. Okay. So, and how they are caught, let's just see the next annotation that is exception handler annotation. So this annotation is used on the methods that are present inside controller advice class. So as we are told that that controller advice annotation, but it does, it centralize the exception handling process. And inside that class, there are different, different methods on which this exception handler annotation is used on those methods because this annotation is used when we want that a specific method should be invoked on a specific exception. So in the code, we can encounter different, different exceptions. Okay. There can be like uh, runtime exceptions. There can be uh, custom exceptions also. So all those exception ha can be handled at a single level. That is a single class that is annotated with the rest controller advice annotation. And inside that class also, there are different, different methods on which this exception handler annotation can be used. And it can decide that that particular method, uh, what it will be like, what it will do when it encounters a specific type of exception. So I hope now the theory is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the editor and I will uh, tell you with the example at how this exception handler annotation is working and how the rest controller advice annotation is working. Okay. So what we will be doing, we will be simply uh, making a controller method that will be uh, handling a get request. In that method, we will be specifically throwing an exception and we will be catching that exception in our global exception handler. And then we'll see that how the entire flows work. So let's just start it. So first of all, let's just make a service class. Let's just make a service class only with the name test rest service. Okay. Test rest service dot Java. Okay. Let's just first make it component. As I've told you in previous videos, what is it? What does component stands for? Now let's just what we'll do now let's just go to our controller we will make a simple get method so public string let's just give it global exception handler okay handler okay in this what we'll be doing okay so we will be giving a annotation here at the rate get mapping and we will be passing any path here let's just say we will pass exception and we'll pass it let's just say any endpoint we are giving so suppose exception slash global and we will be passing an id okay i will tell you why we are passing this id so if we are passing the id like this we will like take it in the method parameter as path variable okay it will be let's just suppose integer id okay now from this particular uh, controller method we will be calling the method that will be defined in this test rest service. So let's just define a method here. So public string, okay, public string, let's just suppose helper only. Okay, in this we will be passing the ID that we are getting in the controller method. As I've told you how the flow goes, flows goes from controller to service, service to repository. So we are getting this ID in this our controller method. Now we will be passing this ID into the, into this method of the service class. Okay, now what we'll do in this particular service. So we will be throwing our exception. We will be throwing exception explicitly. Okay. 
so what we'll do if our id is double equivalent to one what we will do we will throw new runtime exception okay any exception you can throw you can make uh, you can throw custom exception also you can throw inbuilt ex exception also just that we need, need to know that once an exception is thrown how it goes to that global exception handler and how it is handled there because normally try catch we know how we how the exception handling is done but how the exception handling is done by the global exception handler that we have to see so if our id is equal to one what we are doing we are simply throwing our runtime exception let's just give it the message uh, we are explicitly Sitly throwing runtime exception. So this is the message that we are giving. Okay. Now, if id is equal to one, then we are doing this. Else, if id is not equal to one, if it is any other id, then what we are doing? We are doing nothing. Simply we are returning a Java object as Java string object. That is, uh, the id is not equal to one and no exception. Okay. No exception. This is we are what we are doing. Now this helper method we will be calling from that controller service. Okay, so for that to call this service method from our controller, we first need to auto wire. What we need to do? We first need to auto wire our private test rest service. Okay, so private test uh, rest service we will give it the name and we will do auto wire. What is auto wired? What is component? How it is done? I have already discussed in the previous videos. You can like go and check out that playlist. Okay, now. We have done auto wiring. We all know that we uh, now let's just simply call that helper method from the test rest service. So test rest service, we will call this helper method. We will pass this ID in it. Okay. But this, uh, what this will be returning either it will be throwing an exception or either it will be returning the value based on the ID value. Okay. Either it will be throwing an exception or it will be returning a string value. Okay. So what we will do either in either cases, we will simply return the value that will be returned from this particular this particular id okay so now let just now now what we are doing let us see now we are if we are suppose we are passing this id okay we are pa passing this id as one so we are going into the helper function here we are seeing that if id is one then we are throwing new runtime exception now we are throwing the uh, runtime exception from here but if you will see that it is not getting caught right now at anywhere so we are calling this method from the test uh, controller but we are not handling we are not doing try catch here also so in this case how it will be caught and how it will be handled so there now comes the place when we need to give us the global exception handler so let's just make a new java class we will give the name as global exception handler okay what we'll do to tell it is a global exception handler what we'll do we will give annotation at the rest controller advice okay now inside this now this is a uh, this is a class level annotation which will tell that all the global exception will be handled here now inside a class we have different different methods so let's just give the method name so public uh, let's just give us the return type will be string and let's just give it that okay it will handle runtime exception okay it will handle runtime exception and it will be returning returning string so how it how it will know that it had to handle the runtime exception only from where it will be called so for that we are using the annotation at that exception handler and inside this exception handler we will be passing that which type of exception should this method handle okay you can give the name anything but how to know that once a runtime exception is thrown and it has to be caught here and which method has to be uh, invoked so for that particular thing only we have used our exception handler annotation and we have passed that it will handle this runtime exception okay now this uh, see now from this uh, test rest service what we are doing we are throwing the runtime exception object but how we will be getting this runtime exception object here so here we will we will be passing it in the parameter only so it will be runtime exception runtime exception so that object that has been thrown from here okay it has been First of all, it has it is a type. Uh, this object is of type runtime exception. Therefore, this method will be invoked. And how we will get that particular object only? We will be passing that object in the argument method parameter. Now, what we'll do? We will since we have to return this string from here. What we'll do? We'll simply return. We will be returning runtime exception dot get message. Okay. 
so get message we will be returning from here okay so how the flow is going first of all we will be hitting this particular endpoint we will be uh, fetching the id from here we will be uh, passing the id to helper function okay we will be passing the id to helper function if the id is equal to 1 we will be throwing the runtime exception from here so once this runtime exception is thrown from here it will be caught in the global exception handler that is this method only that we have defined that this method is used for uh, catching the runtime exception now since this method will be invoked so this runtime exception will be containing the message also because we are sending message from here only so this is the message we are explicitly throwing runtime exception and this particular message will be returned uh, returned from this particular method okay let's just test it okay we will, what we will do we will simply test it and uh, after that we will do system dot out dot println also to see that how exactly the things are moving or let's just do it right now only why to like waste time so first we will be in the test controller okay so system dot out dot print ln okay so uh, we are in controller okay let's just copy paste it in the service class also we are in controller okay test test service uh, so we are uh, here okay we are in service inside if okay now let's just copy in this global exception handler also we are in global exception handler okay so now let's just run it so that so that we can see the flow also that how the flow is going okay what will be the rest endpoint it will be slash exception slash global slash id instead of id let's just first pass it one okay let's just see command b id as one we are passing we are passing get request let's just simply send it okay so we have got 404 not found okay sorry we are sending the wrong request let's just see now okay so we have now got our expected answer that is we are explicitly throwing runtime exception so how we have got it how the flow goes so we are printing so we can follow this one so once we have hit this endpoint so we are in controller then from controller we will be going into helper and since our id is equal to one so it will be going inside this if so we are in service inside if okay so from here we are throwing the runtime exception okay so we are throwing the runtime exception so where it will be caught it will be caught in the global exception handler so in global exception handler it will go and we are again printing the things we are in global exception handler so it is proving that this is how global exception handling occurs okay so inside the normal rest controller we were just returning the data but what if any exception is thrown in between and instead of data we need to send some error code or some error message so in that case we are we are doing we are not returning any data now we are just returning the error message that we are getting or we can say exception messages we, that we are getting okay now let's just hit by two because exception only should only be thrown in the case of one only let's just see two so in two again it is it is the id is not equal to one and no exception so again it is going inside this global exception handler okay oh sorry not global exception handler, sorry we are in controller then so we are in controller only it's printing so these three are for before so let's just ignore this so inside this id two will be passed once this two uh, second id will be passed uh, just a second so once this uh, id two will, will be passed so we are simply returning that id is not equal to one and no exception so this case is over now you will be thinking that what is the priority so where try catch will be used and where global exception handler will be used and if both are present then what will be the priority so whether it will be handled in a catch statement or whether it will be handled in a global exception handler so let's just see that case also okay so what we'll do inside this test rest controller when we are passing when we are when we are using this particular uh, when we are calling this particular function let's just add it in the try catch block now we have seen the flow now we don't need to like simply print out and see the flow again and again let's just try it in the try catch block okay so here okay and in the catch block let's just catch runtime exception here also okay so here runtime exception is here also and let just uh, okay let just uh, return from here what will be returning so we are in the catch block okay we are in the catch block just we are simply returning this from here 
now let's just run it because now see again we will when we will passing the id we will go into try block and at the try block since the id is one it will throw runtime exception now we need to check whether that runtime exception is being handled by the global exception handler or it is being handled by this catch block let's just run it okay so let's just now send one to it so see we are in the catch block so it means that once the exception is thrown once the exception is thrown first priority will be given to the nearest catch block from it is from where it is getting called okay so it is going to this try block it is hitting it is throwing new runtime exception so once it is throwing new runtime exception now this it will follow the stack so now from where this helper function is called it will go there okay at this function now it will check whether this runtime exception has been handled here or not so whether this runtime exception has been handled in this catch block or not so answer is yes so if it is been handled in this catch block then we will catch this exception here only and we will process the we will do further processing otherwise if it was not here as we have seen in the earlier case if it was not here in the catch block then it will check that exception in the global exception handler and if that if it finds that yes it has been handled there in the global exception handler then this method will be invoked and the further processing will be done so the first priority will be to the catch block based on the stack trace and if it does not find any catch block then it will go to the global exception handler so in the case of same exception okay so i hope now the role of controller advice annotation and exception handler annotation is clear to you they are just used for global exception handling so this was it for this video if you understood the entire video thank you for watching this video and do hit that like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends also thank you for watching this video